Good morning, brothers and sisters. Jim Beckwith reporting here today. I hope you had a good evening, good night's sleep. Hope all is well with you and your family. Shock video, we build the wall foreman. Military cartel specialists are probing our project. Got within 15 feet of our construction workers. We build the wall released two absolutely shocking videos on Saturday night. The first video is of foreman Mike at the construction site in Sunland Park, New Mexico, west of El Paso, Texas. And if you don't know where Sunland Park is, well, let me just give you a uh, brief history of uh, brief uh, directions of where it is in Mexico or I'm sorry, uh, New Mexico. So here we have the border right here. Here's El Paso, Texas. And here is the Texas New Mexico border line of the state. Las Cruces, New Mexico and El Paso, Texas. So you can see uh, it, here it, the New Mexico border line and this is the international border line of U the US and Mexico okay so you zoom in a little closer and then we get over here to the freeway interstate highway or uh, 10 and uh, we see Sunland Park and El Paso Texas and the border of Ciudad Juarez in Mexico so that's where they are. The first video is of Foreman Mike at the construction site in Sunland Park, New Mexico, west of El Paso, Texas. This past week and over the Memorial Weekend, We Build the Wall organization led by founder and organizer Brian Colfash built their first major border wall section on the West Texas, New Mexico border. And you have to remember that the local mayor in the area is trying to shut them down and He's a Democrat and he's a Mexican as well, supporting the illegal aliens and the drug cartel. I'm sure he's getting paid off for it as well. Brian Colfage and We Build the Wall raised over 20 million in private donations from over 260,000 individuals. I'd be one of them to build a border wall on the U.S. southern border with Mexico. The GoFundMe page was launched after Democrat and Republican lawmakers refused to work with President Trump to secure the border. We build the wall, not the government. Please donate to this incredible organization here. And you can click on it here if you go to the site. On, and I will be leaving the link to a Gateway Pundit as usual down below of this link of this uh, story. On Saturday, we build the wall release two videos. In the first video, Foreman Mike discussed the latest progress on the Sunland Park project. We build the wall is closing up on their first half mile of the wall. They, their project is approximately 2,300 feet and they have 350 more feet to go to finish the project. And folks, there's two things you need to realize about this. This 2,300 feet is the most crucial of where the drug cartels go by and the illegal aliens the drugs are passed through and the illegal aliens cross through the number one area they targeted the worst one of all and because of that we have a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars less of drugs going across that area per day amazing huh and not only it just already it's already stopped now and the second thing you need to realize is that this project is only a quarter which is about a quarter of that 21 million dollars which is about five million dollars is what this project is approximately the construction team has used over 600 concrete trucks so far. They are also pouring concrete for, uh, for a 25-foot speedway behind the all for border patrol agents so that they can drive up the mountain. 25-foot, they can drive up with their vehicles and man them easily. 
Border Patrol officials say the current project, when complete, will cut off 19 different foot trails on Mount Cristo Ray on the border. The cartels are bringing $100,000 to $2,000, 100000 in drugs each day through the open border in this area. Mike added this on the effectiveness of the current project. Quote, when I got here 17 days ago, there were 450 people a night crossing. When equipment started arriving, it went to 300. When manpower started working, we went down to 200. When we started placing the bullards, in, it went from 70 to 30 to zero. And bullards are the main uh, frame of each uh, that holds up uh, the wall. We've had no crossings in the last eight days. Then Mike added this on the very security situation. We have military clad specialists from the cartels probing our line. The only thing stopping them is our specialists in the hills counteracting with them. We expect to com be complete late, late, late this evening or early tomorrow with the first segment of the wall. When asked about the security needed to deal with the drug cartels, Mike replied, it's extremely dangerous. They got within 15 feet of the excavators last night. They're coming down and trying to probe against the new wall. We have approximately 15 guards on post, armed security individuals. Now, you need to understand, he says in the video that armed security individuals, those are the 15 guards, but... The specialist in the hills, he says, oh, I'm not telling you how much. Why? Uh, you don't, why do you need to tell you the enemy cartels who have plenty of nasty guns, fully automatic? Why do you need to tell them how many are in the hills? Good afternoon, it's Foreman Mike here in Sunland Park, New Mexico. As we build the wall, as you can see in the background, we are closing up on our first half mile of wall. We approximately have 2,300 feet in. We have 350 more feet to go, up a 31% grade, which is very critical to mission success. If you look down below, you can see where we've cut leveling slats for the excavators to place four panels per excavator to get to the top of the mound. Additionally, our concrete pumpers are 175 footers. We've cut special roads. And by the way, if you don't know, a, a, a pumper that's 175 footer is almost the largest there is. I do know that. To bring the concrete trucks up, we pump in the concrete over to each wall panel and put in our seven feet of concrete facing per panel. We moved approximately 180 so, so that's seven foot deep of concrete. Five feet so far today. We have moved approximately 185 feet so far today. We expect another 80 feet before midnight tonight. How many concrete trucks in this in the wall? We've used over 600 concrete trucks so far. We're also pouring a 25 foot speedway. That means each concrete truck holds about 10 yards, so that's 6,000 yards of concrete. Made out of concrete. If you look down in the valley, you can see approximately 500 feet of it already poured. This will let Border Patrol get to the top of the fence if there's an unfortunate incident going into the mountains. Border Patrol figures show that this half mile has cut off 19 different foot trails, including Sinaloa Pass number one, which is bringing $100,000 to $200,000 worth of drugs or human trafficked individuals into the United States every day. How many foot pass? 19. Wow. You can see off in the distance, they have roads they've built and they bring the people over into the amphitheater, sneak them up to the border. They're only 300 feet away. And then they come running across when I got here 17 days ago, there were 450 people at night crossing. When equipment started arriving, it went to 300. When manpower started working, we went down to 200. When we started placing the bollards, it went from 70 to 30 to zero. We've had no crossings in the last eight days, although we have military-clad specialists from the cartels probing our lines. The only thing stopping them 
is our specialist in the hills, co counteracting with them. We expect to be completed late, late, late this evening or early tomorrow with the first segment of the wall. How much security? Oh, let me finish it. We had to have here. How dangerous is this area? Uh, extremely dangerous. They got within 15 feet of the uh, excavators last night. Uh, they're coming down and trying to probe up against the new wall and fence. But we have a barrier swing gate being installed that will be arriving tonight emergently so we can close it off at the Rio Grande. We have approximately 15 guards on post. Uh, and armed defense uh, security individuals, uh, we can't disclose how many. So it sounds like he said we have armed defense security officials and we have specialists in the hills. Those specialists are dealing with the uh, military clad of New Mexico that are probing this side. You see, the, the, the Mexico side. So uh, my guess, I'm just guessing, is, is that these specialists in the hills are snipers. Uh, you know, and <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I do like to play Sniper Elite 4 game. Uh, you know, and I think it, but anyway, the point here is, is that the snipers will take them out if they try to do something illegal. Okay, they're only probing, which is legal, you know, uh, they're realizing their time has come to an end of their drug and, and, uh, what do you call it, uh, human trafficking control and illegal border crossings, uh, you know, uh, raping little girls and, and, uh, you know, this is, uh, human trafficking is what it's all about selling them for a lot of money so uh they're they're realizing it's coming to an end and and another thing i want you to realize this video is coming off of youtube right here and it's from gateway pundit and it just came out yesterday okay the first okay so i just want you to understand what's going on because we build the walls working the local mayor i think it's of sunland park has decided to come out against them and says cease and desist and it's all over fake news but for some reason the foreman is telling you they're still building you see so i just want you to understand the truth of what's really going on and remember it is a fact that this is only this uh, the amount of money is being spent here is approximately five million dollars total for this whole project which has already shut down a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars worth of drugs per day per day that means in of illegal activity in just five days that turns into a half a million dollars right there and in 20 days that turns into 2 million yet the whole project is only going to cost 5 million dollars you see what i'm saying the project will stop illegal drugs and pay for itself in probably two months flat yet it's built like a fortress practic practically seven feet deep 25 foot road for them to drive up on 30 foot high fence that's slick and then at the top of the fence it's all steel straight up how are you going to climb that one rots a ruck on top of that it's easy for them to control it so right now they got all this milit they got military uh and they they got all you know they're smart they're doing this the right way they got all the permits the local mayor is putting out fake news because he's working with the cartels and getting paid by them but we build the wall are making it happen thank you for listening let me be serious with you i would rather that you donate to my ministry directly 
I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help, and we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or product as a token of my appreciation, and I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings instead of buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today. Sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below. Become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder. An IRS ruling declares this to be totally legal. This is no joke, no scam, and been for many years. The longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home tax is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.